Hey guys, Dallas here, aka DCRT, coming at you back on YouTube with another quick cleaning video. Today we're featuring my 1990 Sharp model, 19 RP519, manufactured in March of 1990. It's a 19-inch set, RF only. Comes with this cute little remote. Overall, the set works totally fine. Um, I did notice a slight burning smell uh, coming from when I powered it on just to test it. So I imagine it's a little dusty on the inside. Um, everything worked 100% as I expected it to. Got it free from a nice older woman from Facebook Marketplace. So I appreciate her for the free TV. I'm going to be keeping this one possibly. It's wood grain and been looking for a new bedroom TV to go with an older VCR just for a good retro setup. But we're gonna open this one up, get it dusted out, and then put it back together real quick. Let's get to it. All right, to start with, I always like to use a good water-based cleaner just to wipe off the outside. Really like these old wood grain sets. I've found a few of them over the past couple weeks. And I only paid for one of them. It's the one I have in my living room. And I use it kind of as my tertiary television. Got a uh, 55 inch flat screen. And a 27 inch Trinitron and then a 20 inch Toshiba from 1987 that's got uh, interesting speakers on it. This one I was thinking about putting in my bedroom. Spin this around back here so you can see the back. Got quite an ass on it. Just All right, so let's take a look in here. Yeah, it's pretty dusty. Right through there, yeah, you can see this thing's got a lot of dust on the inside of it, so. 
better to err on the side of caution before using it too much. Um, overall, though, everything looks pretty clean. There's a little cobwebs in here, but uh, there's a burn spot right there I'll have to look in. See something got really warm right there. Caused a burn spot. Nothing looks terrible on this side. I'll have to check the other side of this board. And we will see if there's anything amiss on the other side. Alright, so this is gonna be the underside of the board right here. Burn spot yeah, is going to be in in this area right here. Not seeing any like broken solder joints or anything too crazy here. Could have just been a dirty spot that something might have burned real fast on it, but. Who knows? Hopefully with a good clean through everything down in through here, because you can see it's pretty dusty. That, uh, that'll fix up any issues it might have. But yeah, you can see it is very dusty. There's the untouched part where the plastic was covered. And then, yeah, here's the yoke and your neck board assembly. Got your electron gun and your focusing rings here. Going down through the yoke into CRT itself. Through your flyback, your anode cap, and your cathodes going through there. So, we're just going to dust this out and get it put back together. Overall, I don't think it's going to need much more than that. If I do keep having issues, I will definitely have to keep an eye down here on this part. Just because uh, I may have to replace some of the capacitors in here or any of the, you know, like the resistors. But having soldering skills is handy.
matter of fact, one of these days, I'm going to walk into that office and I'm going to see. Oscar Bean. What? Um, good morning, Mr. Puddlesmooth. Smittlefoot. Smittlefoot. Pills! Life, you idiot. <laughs> Can't you get anything right? Why are you such a screw-up? <laughs> All right, so yeah, that is going to be the Sharp 19, RP519. Been having a runner for a minute now, and I don't notice the smell that I initially had uh, upon using this earlier so yeah I think it was definitely just a dust issue got this guy playing Ernest Goes to Jail an absolute timeless classic from my childhood but yeah I'm going to put this one back up in my collection thanks for tuning in for another quick video I will see you guys next time peace